boy Upper Class. Today I'm coming at y'all with another video. Today is not a reaction. <clears throat> we go first. We're gonna talk about Kodak, and then we're gonna get into J Her G Herbo. Matter of fact, let's do the other way around. Well, today G Herbo got locked up for supposedly beating up Ari. She went to Instagram and posted this. He kicked my door down to get inside my house because I wouldn't let him in. Beat the fuck out of me in front of my son, then took my son outside to his friends and had them drive off with my son. Hid all my knives in my house, broke my phone, and locked me inside. Beat the fuck out of me again, choked me, punched me in the face, all over my body, dragged me outside on the concrete by my head. After his friends drove off with my son, Took me in the house and continued beating me. He wrecked my whole house, broke all type of shit. I have a black eye. My body scraped up from being dragged outside. Bruises all over. Bruises all over my body. Please don't speak on old relationship play fights. Because this is not that. Okay. Well, she said a whole lot of shit. But I read, I read the paperwork. And he's charged with simple... Simple battery or some shit like that, right? First of all, he kicked your door down. That'd be breaking in and entering, right? Also trespassing, right? Vandalism, because you say he destroyed your house, right? And then he wouldn't get a simple battery for giving you a black eye, bruising you, dragging you outside. And then how come nobody saw this happening and called the police? Like you got... Dragged outside on the concrete. You didn't make any noise for the neighbors to hear. Help me, nigga. Help me. To hear, nobody came out and seen what happened. And then the police report also said that G Herbo left with their son, but then later on came back. And that's when he was arrested. Okay, so if I just beat the shit out you, Dragged you, gave you a black eye, destroyed your crib. Why would I come back to the scene? That don't make no sense. Like, G Herbo would have to be the most retarded person to come back to the scene after beating her up and destroying her crib. You feel me? And then you're a rapper on top of that. You know, like, how far it's going to go already. Like, because they're trying to destroy rappers. You feel me? Careers and shit out here. Especially you a black rapper, right? But I don't believe her story. Maybe they got into a little scuffle. Because you know how she always, like, she's always the aggressor. If you watch videos with them, too, like, she's always the aggressor. You've seen at the, um, their kid's birthday party, after the party, what she was doing to him outside. You feel me? She's always the aggressor when it comes to her boy. And he doesn't really do anything back to her. So, you know, what probably happened was she attacked him. And maybe he like grabbed her to get him off her, like grabbed, yoked her up, you know, and probably his nails scratched her and shit. You know, that's why they said she had scratches in the police report. Don't say no black eye, no bruises. It just said little, little scratches and shit. So I feel like she just, she just made up that whole story, you know, just because she, she, she wants him. She wants him. You seen at the party where she throwing a cake in his face and all that. Yeah, she, she want my son her most. You feel me? She not over her. I mean, the other nigga was just a rebound to get over the situation. You know what I mean? But y'all tell me what y'all think about this story. And then let's go to Kodak now. Kodak Black got arrested at the border for supposedly bringing in um, guns and, and marijuana. You know, even if you have a, a demo, dime of bud coming from Canada crossing the border, it's, it's still like transporting because you didn't, you're bringing it in from across the border. Plus the guns, it's like it's transported because you're bringing it across the border. And Kodak Black was supposed to be driving an Escalade, but then he's on tour. And his tour bus made it to his next destination, but he didn't. So why was he driving and not on the tour bus? You feel me? I think I think I think T.I. called crime, crime stoppers on my boy Kodak. <laughs> See how I call crime stoppers. I'm, I'm convinced it have to be because 
Like, <laughs> how that man just get, like, every time this guy gets into some type of beef, he gets arrested. Like, it's crazy. It's really ridiculous. But he, he they um said he had a $20,000 bail. You know, go that bail out gang. He out of there, man. You feel me? He already, he already out. You feel me? And, um, like, that's what I never understood, though. When I was reading it, it's like, you got a $20,000 bail for transporting? You're, you're, it, it's not one gun. It's more than one gun. It's a gun in the car that he was driving. And his entourage had a, a gun in the car. His entourage mem copped out to it. You feel me? And then he had a, a gun in the trunk. They said it's, it, it appears to be like an AK and shit. But it's a handgun with a drum. You feel me? And like... I don't think they would give you twenty thousand dollar bail for that. It should probably be like all a hundred k or some shit. But you know, it's probably some type of foul play in it. I'm gonna wait till Kodak speak on it if he does speak on it, and then we have more facts on it. Or you now I mean, when more facts come up, you never know, cause shit, like information is free to everybody. Somebody, maybe DJ Academics or somebody probably gonna come out with it. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. If anything I miss or whatever, y'all could comment below and let me know why I'm going and all that. It's your boy Upper Class though. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video.